Welcome to another Avengers Walmart exclusive review. This time we're looking at the 6 inch Hawkeye figure. Now this is one that's uh, for whatever reason maybe it's short packed has been really hard to find. Uh, in some cases more hard um, harder to find than Hulk. And well, for me none was the case because um, I had to order Hulk online still. I've never seen him in the store and I actually just found Hawkeye along with Loki today they were the only ones so I was really excited to complete my uh, Avengers collection now I'm gonna say right off the bat I people said it many times uh, that Hawkeye is the best figure in the line I thought no way I mean Hulk has to be the bit best because you know he's so big he is he's heavily detailed uh, and he's very articulated in the just all around awesome that is not the case. This figure is definitely the best overall overround figure because I am a little bit more biased towards Hulk because he is my favorite Marvel superhero. Um, but yeah, this figure is definitely better than that. Not much better, but it just barely nodges it out. So here he is, Clint Clint Barton. He was never really referred to as Hawkeye in the movie, and or his overall design. I'm glad they kept uh, some purple in him because at first I was really kind of disappointed that they weren't going to give him his classic uniform with the the head design and whatnot. But you know, but as I was more thinking about it, that this just makes more sense. All the other uh, Avengers pretty much have a reason to be wearing their outfit. You know, Thor he's not an Earthling; he's from Asgard, and that's basically what they wear there. Iron Man, you know, he's basically a man without it, that's his suit of armor. Hulk, he's just, you know, big hulking green monster. Same with Loki, that's the thing he wears. Captain America, I mean, he still doesn't need it, but he really more wears that as a symbol for his country because he is a huge part of the, uh, for uh, morale support during World War II. Uh, there's no real reason for Hawkeye to be wearing that kind of in hindsight a goofy outfit and they went a little bit more uh, down to earth costume for him and I like this more afterwards and um they are actually basing some more recent issues that have Hawkeye uh, off of this uniform which is pretty cool uh, this is my favorite way to pose him now for me it was kind of confusing trying to figure out how to hold his bow because it's not really super clear and I had to think about it like how I, how I held a bow because I took archery classes when I was in school like, even though I really did suck I wasn't that good but um I still didn't I had to think about it and you know and this this is definitely a top because it has the laser sight even though it's still way too high up and I like him you know because he uses these fingers to shoot with this kind of finger guard there and it looks pretty cool and he also comes with this arrow sheath thing which I think was meant to have arrows sticking out from the top of it because it has this uh, uh, point right here where it looks like something could attach it but they just like either sawed it off or just discarded it all together but it's kind of kind of uh, disappointed not to have a whole bunch of arrows sticking about there because you can barely see it uh, from the front but still pretty cool and to peg into the hole it does feel a little bit loose it's mainly because of this piece of rubbery plastic that's over the true peg hole this just kind of lines up with the back and it doesn't sit all the way up against the back because it has this rubbery plastic in the way so there's a little bit of wiggle room there so let's take off his bow he has some really, really amazing detail on him. I was really surprised by how great this figure truly is. Now, uh, uh, John Reiner, Jer Jeremy Reiner, I'm, I should know this by now. This looks exactly like him, as opposed to other figures that just kind of remotely look like their actor, uh, such as Loki and and Thor are ones that don't look like them at all like Captain America this looks dead on 
Jeremy Reiner. Everything down from the very textured hair that just kind of sticks up at the front to the nose, just the way he kind of uh, has a real stern look on his face. And I think it was a pretty smart move to go with the sunglasses, even though he never uses them in the movie. Because well, because in promo art, he has the sunglasses, and you can still tell it's Jeremy Reiner. But, with, I mean, to cover up the eyes, which I do believe are probably the weaker points of these figures, it just gives them that much more um, realism. Detail, bloody amazing. Has the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo on his chest. Has kind of a pink design, or pink-purplish design, to kind of uh, throw back to his... Uh, Marvel roots of his uniform. Nice detail on the boots. Oh, that and that detail on his torso there is real nice. Now, I like it. <laughs> it sounds weird, but I think the veins on him are appropriate because Jer Jeremy Reiner's a you know pretty buff, athletic dude. So that looks real nice. Oh, one thing. Um, the the purple on his gloves are kind of bleeding over to the other fingers especially on his pinky there and you look on the other side you can see some bleeding going on there too so uh, as far as articulation let's take this off it'll be a little bit easier nice nice range of motion in the head very emotive uh, goes up in the shoulder but is blocked by his uh, clothing there, but it's not too much at all. Bicep swivel. Classic nice double hinged elbow. With a limp wrist motion with a swivel there. Waist or mid torso articulation. Legs go in and out. With a kind of a stiff upper thigh torso there. Of course, a nice double knee. And a little bit of foot movement, more so down than up, and no side to side in the foot. So articulation, it's good. Nothing spectacular, but it's good. It, but I think what you're really getting for is, um, I'm not sure exactly if you could get like, I would have to look at pictures, but you might be able to get some pretty good action shots of him shooting the bow. But it would be nice if he had an arrow. But still. Amazing figure. This is definitely the best out of the uh, Marvel Marvel's Avengers six-inch Walmart exclusive figures. Uh, but it's really a personal choice. Like I, I think I, I do think this one's the best, but I still like Hulk a little bit more just because you know I'm kind of biased towards him. So it's really depending on the person. So I do. Heavily, heavily recommend this figure. It is awesome. And it's hard to find for a reason because I guess it's short packed. And as soon as anyone gets it or sees it, they get it because this is a great figure. I was actually real, real lucky to get this because uh, for whatever, re whatever reason, all the Walmarts in my area stock these figures at the very bottom shelf of the toy aisle. And I, I looked there first, and there's only Loki, but then Hawkeye was just sitting on top of some other random figures. And I was just, uh, I gasped, literally. I know it sounds real nerdy, but my wife was happy too. So she wouldn't have to hear me complain anymore. So next video, I'm going to be just taking a look at the, the all the figures as a whole about different uh, base arrangements because this there this is a, the base is a really huge part of the figures and kind of a throwaway at first but I really grew to love it so we're going to be talking about that next time so oh, stay stay standing so until then thank you for watching